So we, we have a little bit of a presentation. Some of it we shared this year at South by Southwest um, about the specific issue that we recognize to do with cognition. Uh, but this is also the under, has the theoretical underpinnings. But, but before I get to that, I just want to talk about the IoT just a little bit because a much used phrase that for most people doesn't actually mean anything. I particularly liked reading this because designing the Internet of Things, uh, in the entire book there's one paragraph that talks about IoT Lego pieces and the rest of it's all about smart devices. So it's not actually about the Internet of Things. But it's a fascinating book and the technology information was really useful and completely correct. But actually for the title, the relevancy to us is none. This morning, I went online to see how many IoT consultants there are on LinkedIn. There's almost 172,000 people claiming to do the IoT in some level or form. I regularly get emails from companies all over the world saying, we do IoT, and I send them an e email back saying, okay, what do you do? Never hear from them, because they don't have a response. Um, so, very quickly, the IoT is, an open network. Um, a closed network of smart devices is not the IoT. So when someone says to you, we're doing home automation, it's IoT. No, it's not. It's a closed network. IoT is open. That means that in the IoT, we, were, we are physically in the IoT. All of the objects in this room are in the IoT. And we can communicate with them if we have access. They can communicate with each other without our engagement. It's a far more uh, pervasive environment than simply your home. So, just a device for you in future, at least until there is an IoT. When you, someone says to you IoT, replace it with closed network. So you can get someone coming to you and saying, we want to do an IoT project with you. Just say, ah, you want to do a closed network project with me. Because the reason that the IoT doesn't exist yet is because the protocols information sharing don't exist yet. There is no global governance forum for those protocols and therefore the ability to share information in an open network can't be made. Sorry if I'm shocking people, but it's, I, 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 every time I see IoT I always think of Y2K. And I go, people were suckered by Y2K for like eight years and they spent billions protecting themselves against the opportunity for their computers to shut down because of a, a decimal place. Uh, and I just look at IoT and I think, people are going to flog this for years until they work out there isn't one. And then clients are going to say, well, we don't need it, we've already got it. And then people who actually do get it will just take over. Um, Wikipedia describes the IoT as um, um, internet things as, as network sensors and data. Um, the networks pretty much all exist. None of this is new science. This, the networks, you know, the internet that underwrites the World Wide Web has existed since the 40s. This is not new technology. Um, the sensors, most of the sensors we need for the internet things already exist. What don't exist are uh, micro sensors that use ambient power. They don't exist yet. No one's actually worked out how to do them. We do have lots of devices in shops that use ambient power. Ambient power might be sunlight or it might be directed light and they take their power without any cabling. Um, and data, um, you know, we already have the, the notion of big data. I keep on hearing places where say, people say, if you talk about big data enough, it's clear you've never done it. And I'm thinking, I did my first big data project in 2007. I know loads of people have done big data projects. The problem here isn't the terminology, is, is that people um, are assuming big data does something. Big data only does something if you ask it to. Um, and more importantly, above all of those uh, components, Wikipedia, like everywhere else, completely ignores humans. Completely forget the human, and there is no human dimension to the Internet of Things. We're expected to be passively accepting and uh, being used by this Internet of Things without any uh, ability to engage with it. 